guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Justice Dirt Reviews Mores. We're back at it again with another brand new review just for you guys from the pretty ladies. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. She bought two new ciders that she wanted to try. So we're gonna try a little bit of this one before she jumps into it. This is Austin's East Ciders. It is a passion fruit cider. Um, from what I gathered off just the can, it is a 5% alcohol. How do you like them apples? Limited release. Um carbonated cider in Austin, Texas. It's got nine grams of sugars, 140 calories, nothing else fancy. We're not gonna be drinking a whole ton of it because it's for her, so we're gonna drink a little bit. Now this is a five dollar cider. Ooh, that nose. Quite nosy, kind of tart, kind of like a almost like a honeydew smell, but really sweet. That nice yellow color to it. It does look very carbonated. It's very bubbly. Okay, juice. interesting as I don't really get a whole lot of like passion fruit taste there it kind of just tastes like a like a regular apple cider like a regular cider with a slight difference like a very slight fruitier difference not even enough to be like oh it's a whole different fruit yeah. Um, but I mean it does have a nice like tart smell without being tart I expected it to be tart and it actually just fucked up on me um, I thought it was going to be tart because of the smell but it's more juiced um, more sweet more flavorful um, it doesn't have any dry notes to it, which I really like that too. I do like a dry drink sometimes, but to have something that's really sweet and also comes in with a great flavor, it's also really, really nice. Um, but it's just got a weird consistency, almost like a, like a pineapple juice. Yeah. Yeah, it's more definitely more towards the apple cider side than the passion fruit, but... I'm not mad at it. It's really good, though. Definitely, it's five bucks for the one can at, what was I said, 5% alcohol. Yeah, um, so I'm not sure. I would probably try it again. I would buy it again, you know, just because it's really, it actually does taste really, really good. So, there's that with it. But the price itself, I feel like five bucks is a bit steep. Um, I know ciders for some reason have this higher edged price range for whatever reason, but overall, I think this could very much easily be a two dollar, three dollar drink, and I would buy it just as much as I would, you know, five dollars, and I feel like they would make more money off of it that way. But uh, limited release. Cheers. <sighs> Honestly, it doesn't even taste like alcohol. To be truthful to it the whole entirety of it. it does not taste like alcohol at all but i'd buy it again guys remember i buy it so you guys don't have to i try it so you guys don't have to welcome to the drink reviews and i can't wait to see you guys around for some more i'm justin and with that being said hit that like button comment subscribe do all that fun stuff it's free it's easy and it's just for you because we're here to drink for you guys and i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow as we're jumping back into bioshock probably gonna be a little bit of a late stream kind of work a little bit later tomorrow than usual Y'all are amazing. I can't wait to see you then. Y'all have a great rest of your old Tuesday. I did for me and Pretty Lady went on a little ice cream date today. Um, really good place. But nonetheless, guys, y'all have a great evening. And I'll see you again.